Oh, so the chemicals kind of bubble to the top and yes, then it leaves. Exactly. So one more time, shake it, mix it. Maybe later. Huh? Waiting for the soda. Oh yeah. You know it. Mm. Right. Mm. The food here in Seoul, Korea, amazing. Summer Boy Squad, thanks for watching another vlog. If you're excited about this vlog, hit the like button. Guys, I'm here with the Korea crew. We got Raquel, yes, Angela, RJ, and I'd like to introduce to you one of our friends. This is Elliot, guys. He's from Korea. Well, he lives here in Korea, but originally from US, correct? Chicago, all right, Chicago up in the house. Hence his hat. <laughs> guys, we're having fried chicken. Listen, Koreans really know how to make fried chicken. Korean fried chicken, so good. <clears throat> and they have it with beer usually. Oh, and they so call yummy. it mekchu. It's called mekchu? Mekchu. Oh. Chicken, like chimek. Oh. Chicken and mekchu. Oh, chimek. Look at it. Let's go, guys. Eat. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. So juicy and tender and crunchy. It's it's so juicy. It's dripping on my pants. Mm. Mm. Wow. Koreans can do fried chicken, y'all. Mm. And guys, they eat it with these cubes. A radish, pickled radish. Mm. It just like ah, clears your palate. So good. All right, Elliot, talk to me. Where are we right now? We are right now in Hongdae. Ooh, Hongdae. Yes, it's a hot spot for Koreans, especially hipsters, indie musicians, artists, and young college girls. All right, my boys, squad. So we're in for a special treat because we are going to show you the etiquette and proper way to drink soju, which is this drink right here. It's kind of like the Korean gin, right? Soju tamisu. There's various brands, Chom Chorom, Tamisu, Siwon, etc. But today we're drinking Tamisu. Okay. Tamisu. All right. So there's even a way to open it. The reason why we shake it first is because a long time ago, with soju, they had a lot of chemicals that was laying in the bottom. So we would mix it and then twist it. Oh. Open it. Oh, so the chemicals kind of bubble to the top and yes, then it leaves. Exactly. Interesting. So one more time, shake it, mix it. Wow. You clearly have done this often. <laughs> drink too much as a uh, <laughs> Guys, this is another thing you need to know about Koreans is that they drink a lot. You guys are Asian Irishmen. Yeah, they're the Asian Irishmen. Hey, that's racial. <laughs> okay, guys, listen up. This part's important. Especially if you want to do business with Korean businessmen. Mm. The one who pours is usually the youngest of the group, right? Which is not me, but... Who's the youngest? Who's the youngest here? Me, you? Raquel! <laughs> I'm the youngest. <laughs> yes, I am the youngest. Yes. She has, okay, so the youngest pours. Yes, she has. And it's also the younger, the youngest person who has to make sure the elders constantly have their shot full all the time. It's their responsibility. Okay, so Raquel will pour the soju. Also another thing is this, this, this. Okay, so another thing is the person who is drinking the shot needs to hold the glass like this, holding, supporting the wrist or placing the hand here. That's how it goes, yeah. So you hold that, okay. Let's do this. Go Elliot. 
if you met for the first time or the person is older than you, you have to use two hands. But if that person is older, younger than you, or the same age, you could use one hand. I see. RJ, are you having? No, I'm eating. Okay. All right. Now, the drinking etiquette. So, if you're a younger person, you must either put your hand on your heart or support your wrist and then you drink away from the elders. Isn't that amazing? The elders shouldn't see the way you drink. So like this or like this. This is very important if you want to do business. Okay guys, cheers. Hunde. Hunde. I'm an elder. <laughs> I'm an elder. You should drink away from me. <laughs> Anyways, I feel young. So I think I'm gonna do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, same thing. And that's that. Korean businessmen often do their deals over soju. It's a very big part of the culture, and and they're generally impressed if you're not from Korea but you understand and know the soju drinking culture. Raquel and RJ are drinking rice wine, which is also a very popular drink. Which one is black bean? Ooh, it's black bean? Black bean flavored rice wine. That's See? Look like downy now. <laughs> yeah. Usually it looks like downy, she says. It's it's basically um it tastes to me it tastes like a cooler. It's a very light alcohol. And they have it for lunch, they have it for light meals, and they drink it out of a bowl. It's not out of a glass. What do they call it? Makkulli. What's your The Korean word for rice wine is makkulli. Mm. Black beans good, right? Yeah. And guys, look, more food. My goodness. Look at this drinking food. Seriously. Raw crab. Raw. And Mikey eats uh, raw crab that's been eaten by someone. Yeah. <laughs> I made the mistake last time of eating out of a bowl. When there's a bowl there with crab in it, you have to check and make sure it's not the garbage bowl. I made the mistake of eating Elliot's garbage bowl. I'm like, this crab is soft. Because he chewed it already. So yeah, this is the shell garbage bowl. Don't eat out of it. You eat directly from the house plate. All right. Mm. Wow. Let's try this raw crab. Raw? And not cooked? Mmm! 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 Super good! What do you guys think? Do you like it? Mm. Yeah, it's like kimchi. Mm. Right? Oh my! I'm gonna pretend to be the young one. Oh, yeah. oh, one more rule we forgot. You can't pour your own soju. And why? I can't say because this is a family channel. <laughs> Apparently it's seven years bad no something. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. We're not friends. Okay, Elliot, do the Philippine national anthem. Guys, don't forget to come to my Canadian concerts happening in Saskatoon, Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver. See you there. Allah. Allah. 
He is allowed to be a mistake. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you call yourself Wolf Heroes. I'm just kidding. <laughs>